Now for me to introduce speaker number two, William McNamara. I'm always happy to be here when Phil speaks. I'm not sure why, but I am. <laughs> Our second speaker today. During the next six to eight minutes, Bill will try to shed a little bit of light on a topic so perplexing, so confusing, so mysterious that most seasoned Toastmasters just scratch their head in wonder. <laughs> the new Toastmasters Pathways program. <laughs> Please help me welcome Bill to the lecture as he presents a speech entitled Pathways. Maybe you have some questions. Please welcome Bill. <laughs> Sixteen minutes, please. <clears throat> so I'm here this morning to talk about pathways, but first, a quick, amusing story. <laughs> Amazon now has a amazing Black Friday sort of thing in July, and I went on there and I picked out this great little external hard drive which holds a terabyte of information, which I think is fantastic because it can hold apparently all eight of Harry Potter movies plus every picture I've ever taken and. Still have 50% left over. <laughs> I have this drive on my desk, and I've created a nice little folder on it that I call Toastmasters. And I put this presentation into that hard drive, and I don't have it with me on my computer today. Oh. So I'm going to do this from memory. <laughs> I guess wow. for your apologies if I make any mistakes, but I'll be sure to show the presentation because I. Put a good amount of time into it. Right? <laughs> it's pretty good. Anyway, Pathways <coughs> is the new program rolled out by Toastmasters. I've decided to organize this speech based upon a number of questions, those questions being the basics who, what, when, where, how, why. Not necessarily in that order. Let's start with the first one why? This is the question I hear most often. Why did Toastmasters? have to go and mess everything up. <laughs> Why couldn't we just stay with the old program? Why do they have to do this? The answer is, the legacy communication program was put together in the 1970s. And there was nothing wrong with the program. It was a fantastic program that most of us here are, are very well versed with. The problem is that since the 1970s, certain things have come into existence, such as cell phones and video conferencing and webcasts, blogging and vlogging and any other kind of vlogging <laughs> you can think of. And Toastmasters being the preeminent teaching tool for communication felt like it is doing a disservice to its members <coughs> by not stepping into the 21st century. That it should be incorporating the ability to teach its members about communication as we experience it today in all of its forms. The second reason is on its webpage, which I have a beautiful shot slide showing, <laughs> it says Toastmasters, where leaders are made. And the feeling was, why do we have two separate tracks? The traditional programmatic communication track and a leadership track. And some people just focused on the communication track. So the new Pathways program is more of an integrated program. It's only a single program, and it's all baked right in. All right, question two is, off like two and three, is who and when? Who, if you are joining Toastmasters now, congratulations, you are enrolled in Pathways. There's not really much to think about. Hmm. If you are an experienced Toastmaster, you have until January 30th of 2020, just under two years from now, to transition over. The thinking being, if you are working towards a certain goal, you have more than enough time to complete that goal, and then make a leisurely transition to Pathways. There's nothing to say you can't move over right now. Actually, that's encouraged by Toastmasters, but you have all the time you need to, to get there. Now, there are some people who say, well, I'm not really interested in that. <laughs> what I can say to that is Toastmasters, in its purest form, is a self-motivated process. If you have never even opened a book, you just like coming to the meetings and giving a speech every now and then, there's nothing to say that you can't continue to do that. Sure, you're not moving towards any goals, which is good for the club and it's good for you, and there's really great content, but no one's going to twist your arm here. All right, so let's get to the what. The what is what is Pathways. Pathways is nothing but 
the program that Toastmasters has put together to introduce all of the concepts that it previously did, plus a whole bunch of new ones. There are 10 different pathways, which are just 10 different programs. These programs are more alike than they are dissimilar. There are five core competencies that Toastmasters recognizes. Those competencies are public speaking, interpersonal communication, strategic leadership, management, and building confidence. For all 10 of the new pathways, public speaking is the primary competency taught. So in that way, they're all the same. And for all 10, building confidence is, I would say, the minor competency taught. The only difference is the, the emphasis placed on the other three competencies, those being interpersonal communication, strategic leadership, and management. Now there is a handy dandy guide which lays out what the emphasis is for each of those. And I'm gonna have this at the mentor table after the meeting. So please stop by and talk to me. So each of the pathways is broken up into five levels. Like I said, there are five core competencies that are emphasized, but there are also five levels. And the levels are how you mark your progress towards your goal now. The first two levels of all 10 pathways are identical. And they all start out with the basics. What many of us came to learn in the competent communicator. So you're gonna see an icebreaker. And you're gonna see a lot of what we learned using vocal variety, organizing your speech, using visual aids, are generally found in levels one through three. When you get to level three, three, four, and five, there's also a host of electives. Now those electives are mostly what change when you talk about one pathway to another. And those electives change based <coughs> upon uh, <coughs> what specific of uh, the skills are to be motivated in this path. So for example, there's a pathway called presentation mastery, which really focuses on presentation. But there's another one called leadership development, which has a focus more on, say, management and strategic leadership. Now, in levels four and five, you see a lot of what Toastmasters has been trying to move towards. There are projects, for example, like creating a podcast or moderating a panel discussion. These are the types of skills and tools that were previously lacking in the, in the legacy system, but now we have opportunities to explore them. There are a number of electives, and you don't have to go through them all, even though you can. But it really lets you pick and choose and customize what you like. All right, so the, the last question I have is how and where. How do you sign up for Toastmasters now that I have everyone convinced? <laughs> you go to toastmasters.org. At the top, there's a bar. And then one of them says Pathways. You click on that. A little drop-down menu comes. This is all representative. <laughs> if you have never been there before, you can, there's a link that says Take the Assessment. You go in and click that. And about a dozen questions come up asking you what your preferences are, what your communication style is, what sort of skills you think are most important that you'd like to learn. Based upon how you make those selections, Toastmasters is going to recommend one of the ten pathways. And it's going to give you two backups. Say, this is the one we think is really great for you, but take a look at these. You can choose any of those three or any of the other seven. If you have gone to that before and you've done your assessment, you click on go to Basecamp, which is really just a suite of menus that introduces you to all the projects you're gonna have. So this was intended to be just a primer sort of presentation. I'm going to give additional presentations on more of the nuts and bolts, such as how we do evaluations, but I'll leave that for another day. So, this is the